Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz. Final eliminator set for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the world. And let me counterpunch. Um, I think this was the route that was it that this was going. I think these two fighters were destined to fight each other since 2019. The possibilities has been there. I think that has been one of the uh, routes that was going to take an easy make fight politically. It makes sense. We they're both with Al Heyman. They're both on the same team like Andy Ruiz says, and I feel that, you know, it's uh, a safer fight for Deontay Wilder. We got two former champions, you know, um, I think it will do decent numbers, not as great based on, you know, what we already know about uh, Wilder's last numbers with Hellenius. So I, I know it will, I'm, I'm confident it will do better than that. Because this was a return fight and a lot of people, you know, still, you know, um, watch it off a jailbroken fire stick or something like that, which ain't right. People still in. So, you know, I don't condone that. I, I don't support that, you know, um, but there's exceptions to each rule, which we won't get into today in this video. But um, Andy Ruiz versus Deontay Wilder, it, it's a decent fight, I think. Um, I think Andy has, uh, fought his way back to a certain type or a certain level of activity, you know, versus how he was. So that's a plus for him because, you know, in 2020, you know, he just took the whole year off, but then, you know, if you were Andy Ruiz though, let's be real. Why wouldn't you, <laughs> you know, I mean, why take, why get beat up by guys or, or, you know, getting there, get in there and get beat again by guys like Dillian White and Luis Ortiz. Why challenge guys like that when you know you have just made more money that you've ever made in your life and probably will you will never make this type of money again. So I deserve a break. And that's exactly what Andy Ruiz did. However, see, uh, for Andy Ruiz, though, he didn't sit around and eat ho-hos and cupcakes and Twinkies and none of that. He actually trained, okay? He actually shredded the weight, shredded the weight, shredded the weight. You know, um, at one point, Andy Ruiz had like big, you know, he probably still does, but I mean, he had his legs were all cut up. I'm like, damn, you know, and he looks like a, a person that was totally reforming his body. I mean, a person that was totally doing a 360 on his body. And I, you can't really say a 360 with Andy, and I think that was the problem because Andy was never that dude that was that was pop that that was like um, in shape, you know, physically fit. He was never that guy, anyway. So since he was never that guy anyway, it was hard for him to reform back to where he was, you know, or where he's never been. You know what I'm saying? So again, it's it's kind of hard to 360 if you've never been there. You know, and I think it's muscles that had to, you know, like like abs and stuff like that. You know, those things have to develop over time with certain type of diet and exercise, uh, you know, and, you know, that, you know, aids weight loss and that, you know, but then it's muscle growth as well. Because, again, he doesn't say he didn't have abs because everybody has abs. It's just you couldn't get through it past all the, you know, ex excess, you know, weight. Right. And, you know, whatever. But, um the strange thing about Andy Ruiz, though, you know, I'll get to Deontay in a second, that Andy Ruiz basically shredded down his armor and the, the, actually the extra was his armor. And it, do, it, it did make you question like, whoa, what did he really do? Because he took a right hand from Chris Ariola and he went down on one knee like he was, you know, proposing, you know, and then he got hurt the next round, which was the third round in their bout by the 40 year old journeyman at that point. Chris Ariola, you know, now to credit Chris Ariola, he did train hard. He stopped doing things <laughs> that he didn't do before. He, he changed his diet. So I think that benefited him, but I don't think that really benefited Andy Ruiz. But then again, it could just be an adjustment to the new body that he was training and working to get. Okay. So I must 
reiterate that. So not saying he didn't have a chin. I just saying I think that his levels wouldn't where they supposed to be. He was just reforming himself to be maybe the heavyweight that he could have been years ago if he would have started dieting and training years ago. Because <laughs> sometimes it takes years to, you know, to um, replace uh, or, or form something, okay? Construct something. It takes years, especially physically, after losing all that weight, okay? And if you want to do it naturally, it takes, you know, a while, okay? But... For Deontay, though, Deontay's journey was the opposite. Deontay was this tall, slender guy, broad shoulders, very powerful, naturally strong guy that was able to hit you or knock you out with one punch or change the fight around with one shot. Well, what he decided to do, he decided to add muscle mass, and that didn't, that didn't help him at all in the last two years. From 2020 and 2021, those two years were probably the worst performing years because that was, those were the years where he decided to add this weight on. Well, needless to say, he, he started piling it on in 2019, which wasn't the right idea and, it, and because of, he couldn't move as fast. He, had, he lacked energy because the weight was bogging him down. So he shredded down to go back, to reform back to where he knows where he was most comfortable. Whereas Andy Ruiz, you know, started to shred and started to lose what he was accustomed to already having. So I look at these guys as total 360s. And they did, or 360s if you call Andy Ruiz, but totally 360 from where they were to where they went, went back to where they uh, used to be. And I look at the fight is going to be very interesting with Andy Ruiz getting his fat back and his, his, you know, his good granite chin and Deontay Wilder getting his speed and endurance back along with that heavy punching power, you know, with Andy with the speed, Deontay with the power. We're going to see on that hour which one will uh, pass the test. You guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz for the final WBC heavyweight eliminator. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.